think we should get into it, Joanne. Joanne, can you pull up the first story for me? Joanne, wake up back there. Wheezing while you nap? Freaking Nappy McGee, I'm going to start calling you that. Uh, you know, look, that's fine, Joanne. You want to be a napperoo? That's that's on you at the end of the day, whether it's going to on your gravestone. She liked to take naps. It's a legacy. Uh, injuries reported after shots fired inside. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Davis. Come on, are you Davis serious, Dr. Audiology. Kristen Davis? You're going to go right in for the kill on an audio ad. Oh, look, it's audiology. Guys, check it out with Davis Audiology. We're doing it. We're here just interrupting the Renaissance Man show live in the middle of the freaking show. You know, we get enough of it from Joanne. Now we can get from Audiology McGee over here. <sighs> God almighty. You know, yeah, I'm going to call Davis Audiology right friggin' now. Hold on, nah, nah, nah. Where's my freaking phone when I need it? That's right, I forgot. It's my deck of phone. It's my cards that are a phone as well. Sometimes you guys don't realize that my cards are a phone. <laughs> when I need to call, I make it from my phone cards. <sighs> yeah, may I speak to Kristen, please? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll hold. Yeah, Kristen, this is Mark Pyers, Renaissance Man. I'm here on air right... I... Look, Kristen, I, I appreciate you're a huge fan, but you're interrupting the show. You're paying for ads? Being interrupting me right live in the middle of a news feed? I'm doing it. I already got a Wheezy McGee back here, and now I got you here doing an audiology update while I'm trying to read first story of the day. Yeah, no, I know. I just think it's rude. You want to do a first story of the day interruption ad style? You know, that's something that you're going to have to answer for when you get to the gates of St. Peter. Oh, you were there. What did you do? You st you didn't let the Renaissance man's first story of the day go. I'm sorry. You can't make it into heaven. No. Kristen, it's in the Bible. I'm sorry. You should have looked it up. You should Ecclesiastics sees 1942. Yeah, dash seven. Look it up right there. See, I told you. Yeah, no, you got to make sure you let Renaissance Man go in the middle of his first story of the day. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. That's like burning, you know, in, in effigy moment where all of a sudden we're trying to save your soul. If we can, you know, sacrifice an individual. No, we'll call Bill Gates. We'll ask him if he, he knows how to do it. He knows the process. Or, yeah, no, you're right. Mark Zuckerchuch would know as well because he's also the adrenochrome Maru guy, right? Yeah, no, Kristen, look, I, I, I appreciate you're trying to build a little buzz for audiology. And you need Renaissance Man shows 16,000 people on right now. And you're saying, if I get 16,000 people watching Renaissance Man and I can get in with my audiology updates... You know, they're going to all of a sudden need an audiology update, too. They're going to call me. Kristen, I get it. I get it. But look, at the end of the day, first story? You picked the first story of the day to do it? Look, you want to come in, sixth story of the day, do a little, hey, you know what, Renaissance man? You need a freaking break. you done six in a row. Let's like, take a break. Take a little sip of your coffee. You know, going to do a story right now. But you come in, first story of the day? I'm sorry. It's just rude. It's just rude. No, I appreciate you're a huge fan of the show. I appreciate that, Kristen, I do. But you don't get rude on me and do an ad in the first audio ad. No, look, you want to do a little video without audio in the background where you're going, look at me, I'm audiology lady. Can you, and you go like this. Can you hear me? And like this, and you start doing like, and you're pointing the ear. So then I'm watching, right? I'm doing my first news story of the day situation. And I see you doing a pointing the ear thing. I'm like, wait a second. There's something wrong with this lady here on the screen. She's pointing. She has something. There. Let me see what she's saying. It's Kristen from audiology. And we're doing, I freaking could do it that way, Kristen, you know? But when you come on automatically inserting yourself with an audio message to the Renaissance man family, you know, 16,000. You know, I get it. You're trying to catch a couple thousand. I know. But when you're doing it, it's disruptive to the Renaissance Man message, you know, of trying to build, you know, a momentum of power, peace, love, and truth, you know, at the end of the day. 
Yeah, exactly. No, no, Joanne's, you can't hear her wheezing. <laughs> she said, is Joanne there? You freaking kidding me? You asked me if Joanne's here in the studio and you can't hear that wheezing? Hold on, 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 on. I'm going to be quiet for a second so you can hear that freaking wheeze because it's just, in, it's like, seriously, I can't even deal sometimes. I feel like it's a drill in the side of my, of my head. You ever seen that happen in the movie with like Christopher Walken? Yeah. Hello, you come down, Joanne. Saw on swell. Who know you get down Saturday Night Live? Of course, you're there Saturday night. No, Kristen, I know, I know, Kristen, dead on. But I'm just trying to tell you, you can't. You know, you can't disrupt the show with your dumb message about audiology. No, I'm not playing any more of it. It's crap. It's crap. You should ask Renaissance Man Show if I could do the freaking ad for you. And then in the middle of news stories, I'd do a little, guys, check out Audiology with Kristen. You know, she's the freaking bomb. We're bringing that one back. We're telling people that you're the bomb. And we stopped doing that, but we're bringing it back for you. Yeah. Oh, good point. We don't want to say that because of Putin. He's putting in the work, though, right? In the war right now, he's putting people in to a really crazy state of mind, you know? And he's putting the pressure on Zelensky, for sure, wouldn't you say? No, I, I'm, I don't care what you're, you know, if you're going to be putting your ads on my show, you better be ready for my puns, because <laughs> I'd be putting them out there. Okay. All right. So look, end of the day, Joanne's wheezing. I'm going to get you a little listen in. Ready? Check this out. This is called the silence, five seconds of silence. So you could be disgusted with the wheeze of Joanne Soros. Yeah. Yo, she sounds exactly like her father. That's why. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Nah, nah, nah. Here we go. Right? Right, Kristen? It's the loudest thing in the room. Louder than when I scream at the top of my lungs, Charlie Day style, and when you're doing it. And then you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, I don't, I, yeah, it's not bad. You're telling me it's not bad. You're there, other end of the line, getting ready for your next freaking ad. What are you, are you, are you filming your next ad right now? Guys, it's Kristen from Audiology. It's crap, Kristen from Audiology. You better get a professional in there and pretend they're Kristen from Audiology. You know what I mean? You get like, I don't know, you get like Chloe Savagnin. Or you, you know, you get like a friggin', uh, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with other actresses' names, but I don't watch TV or movies anymore. I shut it off on December 31st, 2018 when I started this show. Yeah, no, I haven't watched TV since. No, it's the freaking Negatube. What are you going to want? What are you going to get on the Negatube, huh? Oh, I feel like crap now. Uh, yeah, I know. That's the point. You don't tune into it. You shut it the frig down, and you show up Renaissance Man Show. We're doing it two hours a day, 1,202 days in a row, Kristen. Oh, I forgot, yeah. She said, preaching to the choir, I know I'm in the freaking chat right now. <laughs> All right, Kristen, easy does it. I didn't know you were in the chat doing it YouTube style, one of the 17,000. We went up to 17, now we're back to 16,000. You know, it's a moving to target here, YouTube. You know what I mean? 17,000, 16,000. You're trying to capture them all. I get it. I get it, Kristen. But look, I have to tell you one thing, okay? I'm about to get into the first story of the day. If... In midst of the first story of the day, later into this first story, if there's another ad from Kristen freaking audiology, you're getting another call. No, I appreciate that you're a huge fan, Kristen. I really do. Thank you so much. And I, if you're in there in the chat, love out to you. But don't ever do this again. What are you? You're laughing? Oh, I'm here in the chat. And look, I got to see myself on the Renaissance Man Show with the 16,000 people. 15,000. We're down to 15,000 guys. What are we doing? Why are we going down in the thousands? You know, we're here with Kristen. And she's, you know what it is, Kristen? You're a freaking buzzkill. You know, you're a dud. You are a dud. You're in the chat. You're not even adding anything in the chat. You're here on the phone, dudding it out. You know, I got Joanne back there. She's more interesting with her freaking wheeze, <laughs> you know, than you here with your duddiness. Yeah, no, I... Look, I get it. You know, you figure you're so bland, you know, that if you came out here and you do your audiology thing in the middle of the show, you may capture a couple. Kristen, you just knocked us down to 14,000.
it's frustrating, Kristen, you know, because we're trying to do a show here, you know, and you just keep knocking them down a thousand at a time. You know what I mean? And look, I'm not blaming you like per se, but it's frigging your fault. <laughs> you know, down to 13. We just went down to 13K. It's all on you. I'm leaving it on your doorstep. I'm leaving a pile of sacky of crappy on your doorstep, just like Jen Sacky of crappy's been doing. She's leaving sackies of crappy on every American doorstep. You can buy the t-shirt on Shopify. It's truthbomber.myshopify.com. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. You better freaking buy a shirt. When I call you next time to yell at you for your dumb ad, it's freaking terrible. I mean, the worst ad in history, okay? When I call you again next time to, to rip on you about how dumb your ad is and how bad it is, and terrible act, acting. Like, I mean, seriously, you're the worst actress I've ever seen in my life, you know? Like, sometimes when I watched this, I was cringing. I, I had a cringe experience where all of a sudden I was like, eee. You know, like, you're, you're it's there, you know what I mean, doing it. And I just felt the cringy for it, for you, you know? Oh, oh, you're going to do the, oh, well, I feel that all the time when I watch you do stupid stuff, Mark. Well, that's the point of my show, okay? I'm here doing stupid stuff because I'm trying to take this pressure off the world, all right? You're, do, you're doing just bad, stupid stuff. You just look really dumb. I'm looking really dumb intentionally. Doing it. Yeah, no, Kristen, that's right. I'm done. You brought us down to 12,000. Watchers, viewers, right now, we're down to twelve thousand because of you. You're a crap guest. You know, if anybody ever asks, like, what are your accolades? Like, yeah, what kind of drawing? You eleven thousand. You brought us down to eleven thousand. You, you know, I'm here. All of a sudden, we're looking at it. We went from sixteen thousand to eleven thousand viewers in a matter of seconds. All because of you, because you're wheezing. Oh, back up to twelve. You know what? Look, I have to say, maybe you're onto something here, you know, with being a dull individual. And maybe people are like, I like dull individuals. Let me go back on and watch her. We're up to 12,000 again because of you. You got dull and it became all of a sudden interesting. You know, they say like a fad, like it goes in cycles. Like, oh, you know, mullets were really, really funny. And now all of a sudden kids have mullets again. Can we talk about that? Kristen, what is the story with mullets being cool again? Uh, my kids said that everyone has mullets at school. And I said, are they freaking stupid people? And then I saw a kid the other day with his side, his sides were shaved. Kristen, get this. <laughs> Side shaved, friggin' mullet, Joe Dirt. <laughs> yeah, Joe friggin' Dirt. Wow, Joe died. You come down, Joe. Kristen, you just brought us down to 10k. We're at 10k f subscribers, 10.1k subscribers. You just brought us down to 10k viewers in the moment because you're so freaking duddy. Duddy McGee. You know what, Kristen? Why don't you go back to the chat and maybe add some value there, okay? Because I'm done with you. It's clear you brought us down to 9K. It's clear that you have no benefit for the Renaissance Man Show. Back up to 10. You did it. Good job. You know, sometimes when we get to yell at you, it's, it's an up and down cycle. You know what I mean? And what? Well, you're not going to believe this, Kristen. You just got us up to 11K. We are up to 11,000 viewers here, YouTube in it. And it's quite exciting. You knocked us from 16 down to nine, back up down, back to 10. Nine, you're, you're at nine. You're the worst. You are the worst, Kristen. Look, I'll tell you what, I am not going to watch your audio. Fine, no, I'll put it on for a second. Let's put it on for a second, dummy. You ready? Here we go. Whether you already know us or know you need us, your hearing is essential and so are you. Oh Call my your goodness. Did you have to do the stupid accent too? Like, did you have to do the dumb accent on top of the crappy acting? You know, and if you didn't know us, then you're now and now we're knowing us. You did that? <sighs> I wasn't wrong the first time. It's the worst. It's the worst commercial in history. Let's watch some more. Your upstate hearing team at Davis Audiology. <laughs> at Davis Audiology. And why did you have to do so? Why did you do so jumpy? Why are you so jumpy on the Davis Audiology? Why can't you say it more like just flow, like let it flow? 
at Davis Audiology. You have to go at Davis Audiology. How did you, did you have to pronounce every single consonant? Oh, I'm going to pronounce every syllable. You're going to do that? A E I O U. Yeah. Is Y in there sometimes? You know, look, you're doing it. Listen. All three locations are open and ready to help. All three locations are open. Audi Freakingology, guys. Go make sure you don't. You know, check it out. Actually, you know what, Kristen? I feel bad. You brought, but you just brought us down to six K viewers. We're down to six K viewers Saturday Night Live, day twelve hundred and two in a row, and you knocked us down to five K. You know what, Kristen? I'm getting back to the news now because clearly, the Renaissance Man family hates you. And you went down for sixteen. We lost ten people. They didn't. Ten thousand people didn't want to stay and watch. They didn't want to hear you. They didn't want to hear about your, you know, stupid audiology ad. Yeah. No, I'm going to get off the air with you now. I'm going back to the show. I'm doing a freaking news story of the day. First one. You ruined it. <laughs> What's that? No, Joanne, your wheeze isn't freaking tolerable. You know, Kristen, you, you're terrible. Joanne's got the wheeze of freaking nightmares, you know, seriously. Like you think that there's someone with a chisel outside and he's about to just stick it into your back and you can't grab it. It's in that part of your back you can't grab. You know what, Kristen? You just got us back up to 10K. Proud of you. Look, I'm going to get going now, Kristen, okay? I got to talk to the 10,000 people that are here on the Renaissance Man show on YouTube. We're doing it, all right? Got to do the, the news. Make sure you let me, you just knocked us, you know, you're knocking us around, Kristen. Knocking us around. And I'm going to get off the air with you now. I'm going to salvage the show, which you clearly ruined. <laughs> yeah. No, again, thank you. Appreciate that you're a fan of the show. And I will talk to you later. Thank you, Kristen. Again, stop with your stupid ads. Yeah. Hi, right, bye. Right, guys? I mean, she's here. She's doing it. Like a Dumbo McGillicuddy. Oh, man. And see, all of a sudden, we're back up to 11,000. As soon as we got her off the air, everybody's like, oh, she's off the air. Good. We're back. Sometimes when you're looking to really bring someone into the show, you want to try to lift them up. We want to lift them up. You know, especially they have a new ad. They want to get it out there. It's for a day. That's all day. Yeah, day. And you want to make sure you get it, you know, into the public eye and you want to have 11,000 people see the ad. I get it. You know. And she hit it when we had 16,000. That was the thing that really, really, I guess, got me. You know, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to take advantage of the 16,000 people watching? Renaissance Man Joe? <sighs> I'm freaking real. You know, 14,000. We're up, Joanne. Back up to 14,000, 13,000. We're moving around. We're moving around, Joanne. Look, we're going to get back to the story. We're getting away from the stupid audiology ad. The point of this story was very simple. There's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world right now, Joanne. This isn't a comedic story, okay? But we just obviously did some comedy for a little while leading into the story while you wheezed your freaking face off and annoyed the hell out of everybody in the chat. We lost three people. And all in. We lost a lot more because of Kristen, but then gained them back, you know, and then you're still back there swallowing souls with your wheeze. The shooting happened on Saturday. Joanne, can you remind us what this was? Because we got into that random story about, you know, having the audiology lady taking all of our, basically our juge, you know, we had it, we were moving, we were going and all of a sudden, you know what I mean? I got the Davis Audiology. Stupidest freaking commercial I've ever seen in my life. She comes out, destroys the show. First first story of the day. <laughs> Joanne, you let it happen. Did you did you allow that ad to be placed? <laughs> Joanne! You know I don't like an ad. First story of the day. Right there, did it! Trying to get into the story. And you're doing a little, you know, like, oh, let's just put an ad right here, right before Mark gets into it. You know, just he's about to get into it right after the first, you know, title. But the story, here's the title, you know, a South Carolina shooting. Freaking audiology lady pops in, you know. 
A shooting at a mall in South Carolina left multiple people injured. This shooting happened Saturday afternoon at a Columbiana Center in Columbia, South Carolina.